If you're learning to trade futures for the first time, or maybe you've been trading a while and not getting the results you need, this is the channel just for you. Because don't you ever wonder why someone doesn't teach futures and make it simple and easy to understand? It's very difficult to understand why there isn't more of this, and that's exactly what I do here on the channel. Everyone has heard the old adage that money doesn't grow on trees. And as soon as I saw this picture, I had to ask myself, why the hell would anybody buy a money tree that only had $1 bills? I'm going to do and say some things today that you're going to see in some live trades right here and right now that you probably have never heard before by people who are trying to teach you to learn to trade futures. It shouldn't be expensive and complicated. And that's why, as I said, I started the channel here. To be thrown into a chat room when you're a new trader and see all the trade indicators, multiple screens, and to try to put your money at risk and jump in the pack with that usually has disastrous results because you don't really know what's going on. You have to start off in a simple way. And that's what we do here on the channel. Now, you may have heard that day trading has a very high failure rate, and it's true. A great many people who try this type of trading really don't make it which is why I'm going to give you a free trade simulator, not even a credit card required. It's in the text below this video. Plus, on the channel here, I hope you'll subscribe. You get 85 plus training videos, two starter lists, two playlists with four 10-minute videos each to give you a fast start, and lots of other things here on the channel too. And I'm glad you joined us today. The live trade is coming up in a moment, and I think you're going to be surprised. Just before each live trade we feature weekly here on the channel, I do what's called the trade setup, and here it is. The Russell 2000 Micro E-Mini we're trading today, $5 a point. In the bottom half of the screen, or panel, is the trade signal indicator, the MACD. And the 5-minute candlestick charts are in the top portion the screen today. It's July 23rd, 2021, and we're just about three minutes before 10 o'clock Eastern Time. Now, the purpose of using our trade signal indicator in the lower pane, that MACD, is to find an entry point for the trade, to look at the signals and to get enough confidence to be able to pull the trigger. Now, you can see that uh, the green line is below the red line inside the red circle, and also, it's well below the zero line. The market's been dropping down since it opened at 9.30, and now it's almost 10 o'clock. And down in the bottom, over on the right scale, highlighted in yellow, uh, those are strong numbers, really, indicating that the market is going to go down. It's kind of a relative strength indicator over there on the right. So we get enough confidence to pull the trigger and to begin on this trade by shorting one Russell 2000 Micro E-Mini which we do at 2187.7. Immediately, I go up and hit the Positions tab because I want to enter a bracket order. I right-click, the pop-up window says Bracket, so I click on the bracket. Now, when I click on the bracket order, that's going to bring up a panel that enables me to put in the Stop Loss and the Close at Profit target. Nice thing about the Tastyworks entry order, $21.95 is the price I put in. Then I click Day down below and look up top, $36.50. It's got a built-in calculator. That's my risk. I said, whoops, that's too much. $21.93 I enter. I click Day again, look up top. The recalculation is I'm going to risk a maximum of $26.50. And then down below, the close at profit, otherwise known as your target price, uh, you can put anything in there. It's fiction. The market's only going to give you what the market's going to give you. I put 2150 just to have a number. That would be a profit of $188, which I don't really expect on this trade. 958, we entered the trade at 957. We're one minute in now, and we're trading 2187.4. So at $5 a point, point three points, we're up a dollar and a half right now. It's a, it's a good start. It's not down, right? The target's 2150. Our stop up there at 2193. Now it's $5 a point. The difference between 2193 and where I shorted the contract, 2187.70, that's 5.3 points at $5 a point, 
That's a maximum risk of $26.50. That's an acceptable amount. You can't keep that stop too close, like a point or two, or you just might get stopped out before the trade even has room to breathe. See that MACD in the lower pane there? No, I zoom in a lot, but I want you to see the distance between that green and red line is increasing there. That lets me know I'm on the right side of this trade and that the prices should go down and it's more likely they're going to go down than up. That's why I entered the trade. I wanted to find a low risk entry point. That's always the goal. And rule number one is always protect your money and your account. That 2193 stop up there and my maximum loss of 2650, I'm going to move that down just as soon as I can. This trade lets me do that. Otherwise, I'll wind up having a losing trade here. I'm only down about $5 or so now and uh, nothing to get excited about. And uh, in fact, the prices are a little less volatile in this trade than I anticipating. Translate, what does that mean? It's going pretty slow. And if you want to avoid risk, that's not a terrible thing. It's going slow. As long as it's not going against you, uh, that's okay. And uh, when a trade does go against you in a fast way is when you begin to make irrational decisions. So that's why you look for a good entry point where at least the trade's going to go down a little bit when you short this contract and, uh, and not against you. Because until it goes against you, it's pretty easy to maintain an even keel emotionally and not get too uh, greedy or too afraid or anything else. Now, it's easy to let your emotions get control of you. Uh, three or four minutes staring at a screen like this seems like it's a lot, lot longer every time. I don't think that ever changes, really. But what's going to happen either? You can become impatient and start saying, oh, I picked the wrong trade. What am I doing wrong? It's going to go against me. This isn't going like I wanted it to go. Uh, well, heck, come on. We're set up here. The worst thing can happen is 2650. We're going to lose. And uh, I think we're still in good position with this trade. And like I said, low volatility is a lower risk trade. As long as it doesn't go against us, uh, this prolonged trading or the time it's taking to develop the trade is probably a good thing. It's a lot more fun than the market going up and down really fast. And you have to think 10 times faster to stay ahead of it. Now, the number one thing in the front of my mind every minute during every trade is how can I reduce the risk on this trade? Uh, it's trading down at 2185 and change now. It's going down just a little bit ever so slowly. So I'm going to get my Tastyworks mouse out and be ready to uh, click and drag that stop loss market down. It's at 2193 right now. I get my mouse and pull it down to 2191. Release the left mouse click. And uh, it's done. That's how you change the stop. It's very easy. That's a great feature that's in Tastyworks. And uh, that and the bracket order uh, make trading a lot more simpler. Now, we're not making any money on this trade, but we're not losing any either. I still have my eye on the MACD, and it hasn't changed much from a moment ago. You can't see it right now, but I have it on full display in the screen in front of me. I only zoom in like this so you can uh, see the details of a trade in the video. One thing about a trade like this, this one's moving a little slower, five minutes in, a little over $13 ahead now. But uh, sometimes you never know with a trade like this. You could wind up making 50, 60 bucks on it, 100, or it might only give you $5. And you have to be okay with that. You have no control over it. The market doesn't care what you do, what you say, or what you think, or what you expect. It is totally impersonal. And remember, your number one job is to reduce risk. I got my Tastyworks mouse out again. I'm trading down at uh, 2184, 2185 now. And that's five or six points below my stop up there at 2191. So... I pull out the Tastyworks mouse and uh, move that stop all the way down to even money, folks. I shorted this contract 2187.70, and that's where my stop is. So this is what I call a free trade. Now, nothing's free. We know that. And uh, we're trading at 2185.86, uh, still barely making money. And, uh, you know, if I get stopped out and don't lose any money, that's okay. It's a free trade. I have no control over it. So uh, I don't pretend that I do. I came very close to getting stopped out then. 
And, um, you know, you reach a point with this where if Betrayed isn't going to show you anything, then uh, you don't want to give away any money after a, a bad cause, good money after bad and all that stuff. And uh, the MACD downstairs, which you still can't see in the lower screen, is still saying we should be able to make a couple of bucks in this trade. But, uh, you know, what happens? What do we know? We've been in this trade seven or eight minutes, and the price is almost where we started. That means there's no momentum down happening in this trade. So I'm losing hope of making any big money right now. But uh, still, I, I'd like to get paid for my time and... Uh, I've reduced the risk down as far as I possibly can right now, and I'm just waiting for the market, for the trade, to show me what it's going to do. And the only thing I have control of is how I respond to that. There we go. We're trading uh, 21.83, 21.82.8 for just a moment there. You know, what we're doing now, I told you at the beginning of the video, this is a channel where you learn how to trade without it costing you an arm and a leg. So I'm teaching you to be defensive. Rule number one, protect your assets at all time. This might be a boring trade at $5 a point here. We're trading 185 and, uh, you know, we're up 15 or 20 bucks. Okay, but at 185, that 2.7 points on there at $50 a point for the regular Russell E mini instead of the one tenth size micro E mini. Remember, we're doing training wheels trading here on the channel. You got to learn to make some money down at 185. Um, that would be about $135 ahead on this trade. And uh, you wouldn't be so bored if that were the case now, would you? I know you know how to multiply, but take your time. Use these micro e-minis and learn how to trade. There was no such thing as a contract this small and this lower risk and affordable to trade until May of 2019. And over 800 million of these micro e-minis have traded. People love them. Thousands of people have used my book, which I hope you'll consider too, there's a book link in the text below, and you can go to Amazon and look at the contents page on there. It's only 110 pages long. It's a short read, but what it does have, it makes it easier and faster to learn because it has all the basics and the terminology and, and uh, tells you what kind of orders you use, uh, what kind of things you consider when you want to choose a broker. It has a chapter on trade psychology, and you get all that and a lot more for about the price of a medium pizza. So will you look for that book link below? It's the way I can afford to make all these free videos here on the channel, and I'd appreciate that. Now let's get back to business with the trade here. Not much has happened. Surprise, surprise. We're trading uh, 21.84. And time keeps rolling on, says the Johnny Cash song. I decided to move my target up here to 21.81.60. 21.50 is just way out of reach. And I'm getting ready to close this trade down here. It's just not showing me anything. And I've spent quite a bit of time on it. Well, it's only 10 minutes. It just seems like a long time. It would seem like a short time if I was ahead $135 instead of 13 Hey, I'm just saying. So I'm going to take you to the end of this trade now. It lasted 15 minutes. I moved my target up to 2184 The market just was not going down anymore. And I'm afraid I'd get what little I made already back. So I put the stop at 2184 and it still took a minute or so uh, for the doggone thing to, uh, to, to click and, uh, and get me out of the trade. I'm really excited to bring you these trades every week. Be sure and click the uh, subscribe notification button so you won't miss any of the new videos. They come out with about one a week, sometimes a little more. Uh, we shorted one of the Russell Micro E-Minis today. The Micro E-Minis, the one-tenth size. And we made $18.50 in 15 minutes. Hadn't we been trading with the regular size instead of the one-tenth size Russell 2000, the Russell 2K E-Mini? We would have made $185. Now, that's what you're shooting for. Sure, these trades are slow, maybe a little tedious sometimes, but it's still incredibly fun to trade with these micro E-Minis and 
and they make it affordable for you to trade. There's a free trade simulation program. The link to it is in the text below this video. You can be up and running in about five minutes, and it's absolutely free, no credit cards or anything. Check the like box if you want to see more videos like the video you saw today. That helps me I count those, and that way I can make the videos that, that, that you feel you need to see, and I'm glad to do it. The unrealized gains today, the maximum unrealized gains on the trade was about $24. And remember to check out the uh, two free playlists for beginners below too. And uh, also the book listing. Remember, it cost about as much as a medium pizza. And uh, I would hope that you would get that back and plenty more. And I'd appreciate you checking out the book contents on Amazon. The link is below. I'm just saying, in 15 minutes, while I was practice trading, I made enough for these two ribeyes. You gotta have a little fun while you're learning. I'm Don Singletary. I hope every day is a payday for you. Thank you. And thank you.